lady, and I'm with Richard from Pick Maybe with Us. Hi. I got your name right. You got my name right. <laughs> it's always Not a bonus. Mark. Not Mark. Not it's Mark. always a bonus getting people's name right. <laughs> yeah. now, I think the worst one I did was a band called 1349. I felt it was 1439, even though uh, it was a yeah. t shirt from you. I, <laughs> I always get their name confused as well. Yeah. But yeah, I keep seeing it in my way. Which way round it is? Which way round it is. So many numbers I need to remember. But you did see the funny side of it, so that was okay. <laughs> that was okay then. <laughs> right, uh, you are playing tonight. We are. Looking forward to it? Very much so. Very much so. Yeah. We've just finished six weeks in the States and Canada, yes. so we are on the floor. Brilliant. Like Absolutely brilliant. Ah, oh, great. And um, after playing tonight, what are you going to do next? Well, our bus calls on to about 7 o'clock in the morning, so I'm right. hoping to hang out. Oh, have a few drinks and yeah, yeah. a few more bands. Yeah, we, we, we've got a headlining show in Chester tomorrow, so we, we don't need oh, to leave. Oh, it's not too three. far, it's is it? Chester's far away. Quite Usually when we get to a venue we have to turn up at about 11, yeah. 10, 11, something like that. So we're staying here until like 7, so hopefully we'll be oh, hanging out and just Excellent, go. yeah, that'll be brilliant. Yeah. So, um, any more touring uh, to carry on with, or is this now sitting back and maybe thinking about a new album or something else, or what you've got sort of say you sort of Really, no, it's, a, it's a little bit of both. Yeah. Yeah, because... Um, the whole time I've been in the band, which has just been over two years now, we've kind of been touring and writing at the same time. And that's kind of what's been happening at the moment. Every time we get a little bit of downtime between the tours, we'll probably tour for about six weeks and then we seem to have about three weeks to come on and off. We think that's the time we usually spend writing on our own. So, say we're doing Chester tomorrow, Dublin, Belfast, and we get like about a month off. We go on to Russia, there's talk of us doing some more dates in Eastern Europe, Australia, and South America. Going back and doing the States again, even though we, only a couple of nights ago we were in New York finishing that. So basically it's a world tour? Pretty much. Yeah, yeah. but when you think about that's, it. That's the thing, and the, the last album came out, well, we knew it later, yeah. album came out, which just came out in July of last year, and we're just basically good working pretty much the same kind of time yeah. we before, where we started writing the album in the summer before, so I'm assuming we'll get writing this summer and between tours we'll get them together every now and again, yeah. swap some ideas and we'll get a new album out by the next year. Amazing. So yeah. it's all busy, busy, busy. Yeah, very, very busy. Yeah. So as you're being so busy, and you, when you do get time off, what do you do to relax? What's that? <laughs> what's what's re how do you relax? Um, well, when I'm back home, in fact, I actually still teach guitar and I'm still in a couple of bands, so I'm always busy doing that. Uh, well, I, basically, when, when the European tour finished, I signed up to Netflix and watched my life just a little while, fade away to the background while I watched all the things on Netflix. But oh, when I'm back home, I make the most of time with friends and family. So there's always something back home. Well. I mean, I'm playing a couple of musicals. I've got to play guitar for a couple of musicals at the time before the old so. It's not really much time to relax, but uh, that's where I like it. Yeah. Busy, busy, busy. Right, my first random question, Marmite, does it hate it? I hate it. Do you? Yeah. I'll be honest with you, I, I, it was probably my own fault, though. When I was in sixth form, some of my mates loved Marmite, they would bring it in yeah. between three, like, three periods or whatever. And I was like, I've never tried it. And they were like, try it. And I did the mistake of dip, dipping my finger uh, in and just doing a full yeah. gob of it which was probably the wrong idea. It's meant to be a thin layer, isn't it? Yeah. So it's kind of put me off my mind ever since, to be right. honest. So I, I'm not a fan. It's not going to happen then, would you? I don't people? think so. Right? Even if I try a thin layer, I've got a feeling I'll, I'll regress back yeah. to that moment and probably get a little bit. Right. Well, in the news, it's been about ACDC and their yeah. singer um, no longer able to perform with them. And they're on about finding another singer to take his place. Is it a good idea, or do you think this is where it should stay because they've been going for quite a while? Personally, I think it should stop. I'm a kind of fan of the ACDC a lot. It's kind of bad. Like Guns N' Roses, same with them, like old Guns N' Roses reunion. I'm one of those people who's on the other side of the saying it's a bad idea because it's let let the legacy of that band stay as it is. I think if somebody comes in now, that's very, well, to be honest, they haven't got much of a career left, so yeah. it's very easy to find. It's going to be a bit natural retire. So I, I think for someone to come at this late stage of the game, it's probably not a brilliant idea. I think it's just going to backfire. So I think that we should keep the legacy as it yeah. is, and let's remember us 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 And on about aged um, musicians, um, like Metallica, Megadeth, and all those, who will ever replace them? Because there seems yeah. to be a gap now where you have them, and they're playing every single festival, saying, you know, going around and around, and it doesn't seem to be people at this level, big at that level. So, how do you, what do you think might happen it's, it's all a of a tough sudden? One. I know it's, it's not a metal per se, it's no. a rock and metal venue for festivals. Yeah. There's only really two bands I can think of that can fill that void, and that's Foo Fighters and Muse. Yeah. For me, Muse were the last band that kind of got to that level. Yeah. And their first album came out in 1999. Like that, so it's, it's been a long time since we've seen a band come through yeah. that could probably get to that level. Um, so it is kind of worrying in a weird way. But, but this is why I, I appreciate what Downloaded a few years ago with Avenged Sevenfold on yeah. this headliner. A lot of people slagged them off for it. Was, I'll be honest, I'm an Avenged Sevenfold fan anyway, yeah. so I was happy to see it. But we need people to take chances, promoters to take chances, going, look, this, we need new headliners. Let's take a chance with these bands. Um, so we'll see. Yeah. I'm, I'm hoping yeah. maybe someone comes in, shakes everything up, and there's a new wave of something that comes in, and we start to see the big the, headlines. Yeah, yeah. But but every time we tell, really. Because of course we've lost quite a few in the last two, three months. Quite a few people, haven't we, who, who are at that stage? So you just suddenly sit back and think, well, what's going to happen next? You know, exactly. who's going to be there to? Take the stage. Yeah, whether we like it or not, we're in this uh, yeah. next few years is going to be a yeah. different oh. because we're going to see a lot of yeah. the, the, what I consider the, the, the true generation of the yeah. guys who started rock and metal. Yeah. Uh, like to me, because you know, I went to see the Stones and the Fleetwood Mac yeah. a few years ago, and I, you know, honestly, I, I saw them. I was thinking, uh, at the time, I was thinking this could be the time. Yeah. The last time I didn't see them. So it's mostly we're getting to that point. Yeah. So it's going to be Hopefully there are those Yeah, hopefully the, the industry is going to pick up, pick people up and help them to get there. But at the moment, a lot of bands are just this far and they can't go. So we need somebody in the industry to stand back and say, look, we're going to need people. We're going to have, we're going to, have to help people to be able to achieve what we want as well. Exactly. Yeah. Right, second random question. Okay. Daniel Craig is giving up being John, James Bond. Yes. Who in the band could be the new James Bond? Who in the band? Yeah. Me, of course, because I, I've got the accent that sounds like James Bond. Right. Yes. Um, I'm one of the few, well, one of only two English members in this band. There's me yeah. and obviously Danny Phil. Yeah. But um, I, I feel like I've got the true posh accent for it. Right. With my Midlands accent. Uh, and I've got the body. Right. Um, not really, but I, I like to think I have. So I would say me. I would I'd make right. a perfect Bond. Right. Um, uh, do I get to pick my own Bond girls in this? So you can, but I was going to ask who would be the villain of the piece? Who would be the villain? Yeah. Like the band? Yeah. Ooh! I'd like say that I reckon it's Richard Ashall. Right. Because he looks a little bit like Dr. Evil. <laughs> right. Uh, so he would make a very good Bond villain. Yeah. Very good. Especially sort of Nick Hampton. Oh, yeah. I think he'd be very good. So in your best Bond voice, can you give me your James Bond impression of saying a martini, dry martini shaken but not stirred? Okay. Right. I feel like I need to warm up. Right. <laughs> dry white martini, shaken not stirred. <laughs> brilliant. Absolutely right. brilliant. Yeah, good yeah, 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 that'll yeah, do. The yeah, I think yeah. so. Cool. You have to write to them and say sign me up now, yeah, I think. Can you send that tape to yeah. Right, I think we're running out of time because you're wanted elsewhere. Am I? Okay, yeah. I so I don't have to keep talking. So much. Much. <laughs> no, thank you. <laughs> and um, I enjoyed it immensely. 